Welcome to Work Smarter TV. I am Martin, and in this video, I will show you how to properly print your data. Because Excel is very good at displaying large amounts of data, uh, calculating all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, but it can be some, sometimes be a bit tricky if you want to present it on paper because it's so good at displaying a large amount of data. Um, for starters, we're going to increase the problem we have here. We have a lot of data here, but I want to show you what happens when you have even more. So we'll just copy this. It will display an error because it can calculate this, but it's just for, for the demonstration purposes. So. All right, first thing to do when you're printing, it always helps to select because usually you don't want to print everything. It makes it very easy. You go to file, you go to print, and um, uh, you can hear you have a selection. You can say, okay, uh, print active sheets, the sheets you've got open, print entire workbook, or you can say print selection. No, I'm gonna ch choose the latter one. Um, then it, you can determine on what order the stuff comes out of the printer, bundled or all this, all the same pages uh, at once, all the first page then and the second, etc. And we can say, okay, do you want the landscape, which is horizontal, which I tend to use most of the time, or you want to use portrait. And it gives you a nice preview. But of course, in this way, it's more stuff to fit on a page, but it's too small to read, at least for my eyes. So we'll pick landscape. And you can say what paper type do you use, letter or A4 or whatever. You can ch select margins. I'll use, narrow is usually pretty, pretty handy to use because it means you can just get a bit more numbers on the page or get them slightly larger. And this is the, the, the last... Uh, menu is the really trick. You can say, okay, the no scaling is actually a default setting when it just prints it as is, as is. But you see, you miss a lot because it only goes to 2008 and we're missing the other uh, years. You can say fit one sheet on one page. It's very handy, but only have you, if you have a printer that can print out very large rolls of paper because on, on a regular piece of paper, this is not readable anymore. So we can say, okay, let's just fit all columns on one page. Now this looks like a, for this set of data, a good option, because you can see this is all looks sort of readable and it's until 2012, so it's complete. And we have of course multiple pages because this is the first data set and here we have uh, the, sec the, the second data page and the third page. Uh, you can also say, no, I don't care about the row, or columns, I care about the rows and uh, now it fits all the rows on one page. Now for this data set, it's the same as fit, fitting it all on, on page, but it usually helps to just play around and have a look and uh, no, this looks good. All right, that's how to print in Excel. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. And in the description, you'll find a link to my website, worksmarter.tv, where you can find uh, other materials, tips and tricks. Uh, for using Excel even better. Uh, thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.